All right, TJ the Black T back with the My Collection series. Um, this part will be my KD collection. Um, not too big, not too small. Uh, you know, respectable amount. I'm not the type of person that buys, you know, five or six of one model. Uh, I generally, when it comes to signature shoes, if I like the model, I'll probably cop between two and three pairs, generally. Because, I mean, that's generally... Nike kind of oversaturates with colorways, so generally there's only like two or three that I, colorways that I really like, depending upon the model. You know, if I don't like the model at all, even if I like the colorway, more than likely, I'm not going to purchase it. Model, you know, model comes first. If I'm, if I'm iffy on the colorway, but I like the model, I'll most likely cop. But, we'll go from backwards to forwards. I'll start with my, uh, my earliest number of KD, was KD4 up until the seven. I don't have any eights right now. So first pair of KD fours, orange Nike box. He didn't have a signature box back then. But probably my favorite pair of KDs. And you know a lot of people's favorite KD. The KD four Galaxy. I just love the execution of this. You know you got the little splatter, kinda like stars, the whole sock liner. You know, that Galaxy print, glow in the dark outsole, 3M reflective strap, you have the 3M in the laces, just a great shoe. Got it for a pretty decent price, too, um, at the Soul Exchange Sneaker Show. Got that for a steal. Uh, other pair of KD4s. I have not worn these yet. Um, I bought these pre-owned. Um, but I haven't worn them yet. The Year of the Dragons KD4s. Um, I don't know. I just haven't figured out a way to wear these. The color is a, just a, it's a interesting type of blue. But I don't know. I haven't been able to pull it off lately. Or, but that's the KD4. Now to the KD5s. KD5, I think, was a kind of a slept-on model. Um, it's not one of the more popular KD models to come out. Um, you know, don't pay attention to the heater. Today was the big blizzard, you know, of 2016 for the East Coast. So, you know, heat's on, it cold out, there's a lot of snow. So I figured, you know, why not knock out these videos? Try to do the entire thing today. But, KD5... Swiss Sentinel, Sentinel, you probably know what this is, you know, the Area 72, KD5, All-Star, Area 72s, Extraterrestrials, whichever you prefer to call them. You can, you can generally find these pretty cheap, um, you know, like I said earlier, I think the KD5 is definitely a slept-on model. There. I don't know. I don't know why people didn't like them. Oh well. And my other pair of KD fives. You want pearls? This I just loved what they did with kind of that stained glass look for the sock liners the, and the insole. I just thought it was really well done. And boy, do I have to clean these. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, KD5 and Pearls. My KD6s. I have more KD6s than other models. I actually have three pairs of KD6s. First pair, the Energy, uh, Nerf. Um, I forgot what other color what nicknames they have for these. But I just thought it was really well done got those purple laces got that kind of a interesting type of splatter type I don't know what that's called but between the green and the red you got that same print on the flap tongue but, so that's your KD6 Nerf
86 Meteorology. I like this shoe. Now it has some 3M in it. And I don't know. This I think was a slept on shoe also. Like I have a, I have a lot of shoes that I just feel were sleepers. That are really dope shoes if you had them. But like most people didn't cop them just because you know they weren't feeling them. But you know, when you have them in hand you see them in a different light. You know you put them on your feet you see them. And you kind of appreciate them more. K86 Meteorologies. My favorite KD6 and one of the most slept on shoes, in my opinion. Just you know, strictly my opinion. I know I've said the sleeper this, sleeper that, or underrated, but this definitely out of all the other pairs that I've said it to, this I feel it most. KD6 Gumbo League All Star. I just I can't I just don't know how. Like, these didn't sell out, and, you know, like, resale prices aren't that high on these. I don't know. The minute I saw images of these, I had to have them. Just this print on the upper, the, the color selection of this, like, kind of, like, mint green. Came with this extra pair of laces. This is the extra pair. It's the 3M laces. Interior with that gumbo color, color print. I just thought it was an amazing job for the all-star color and the soul was glow in the dark so I was just assuming these were gonna sell out instantly but I was able to pick them up for retail so yeah I can't really complain I got mine for you know a good price and my KD7s I will be picking up some KD8 soon I see they're starting to hit uh, the sale racks. Uh, for me, I like the KD8 model itself, but for me, I just can't see myself spending 180 on them. I like I like them, but not for 180. Like look at this, the KD7. The KD7 retail price was 150, and now the KD8 jumped dropped, uh, jumped up to 180. 30 dollar price difference. Nah, that's for me then. I just, I can't see myself spending that much. Like, if it's for a Jordan or something, or a special, you know, special edition type shoe, alright, but for 180 being your standard retail price, for your all colorways, I just can't do it. So, now that I see they're starting to hit sale racks, I probably will pick up a couple here and there. Um, but, KD7, easy money. Just thought it was a, you know, clean shoe, clean colorway. Something you can wear, you know, springtime, summertime. Just thought it was a really nice colorway. And a pair that did make my top 10 for this year's pickups. And one of my favorite shoes in my collection. KD7 What Does. I'm not exactly sure why this was, you know not received as well as other what the models but yeah for me I do like these over the other what the models KD6 was a little too much for me um, KD5s and the KD4s impossible to pick up but for me this Dironic you know the, the one I appreciate the most the availability was you know a lot easier to get so you know thankful for that but I just thought color combination was you know selected well and it's not too crazy where it's like you know oh you know just it's a clean colorway so that concludes the KD select the KD part of the my collection series um, I have one more to do and that's the Jordans so Stay tuned for that. Um, sneaker speaker. Ah, sneaker speaker. That's my old, old name, whatever. Um, TJ the Black T is out.